we know that sound. Chicago's very own The Shy Lights are part of the fabric of American soul music. Marshall Thompson is the last original member of the legendary group, and not only is he still being celebrated, but he's still making music. And he joins us now to talk about it. Marshall, thank you for joining us. I understand you're in a crowded room, which is why you're wearing your mask, so everyone has to understand that. Uh, mm -hmm. Congratulations, you got a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. How did that feel? Uh, great. I mean, uh, what a great time, you know, just to go out there and uh, it's my dream come true to have a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. You know, never thought that we would get that far, but we went all the way to the top. And you've been at this since 1959 when you did the, when you started the highlights. <laughs> How did you all settle <laughs> on the shy lights? Well, what happened is coming out of high school after I left Gladys Knight, you know, I played drum for Gladys Knight. Yeah, she I heard that I funny story. Well, what happened is when we got to to uh, Mercury Records at that time, Mercury had another group over there called the Highlights. So we had to put a C in front of our name because we had been playing around Chicago on all them little clubs so, for so long. We didn't want to change the whole name. So we just put, since we were from Chicago, we said, let's put a C in front of it. There and you go. Made it there you go. You made it to Shy Lights. All right. So <laughs> we just heard Old Girl. I have to think, I think, Have You Seen Her is one of my favorites. What, what's your favorites of all the songs you've recorded over the years? What's one of your favorites? Well, my favorite song is our opening song on our concerts. It's called That's How Long I Love You. It's talking about the old people, the young people, and the years to come to let them know how much we love them for, for our career for so long in the business. Wow, and you're still touring, you're still giving concerts, and now you have a new album out. Appropriate, it's a, a Christmas album, a Christmas song, or at least, right? Right, right. right. Okay, right. and it's a take on uh, White Christmas, right? White Christmas, you know, it was a song that my dad sang, he played with uh, uh, Louis Armstrong all over the world with the uh, Henry Red Allen's band, and he was, I went back and heard him just singing it. I said, you know what? This is going to be a great Christmas. Last Christmas was really kind of down for people because you couldn't be with your loved ones. I said, now, I'm going to go in there and cut this song myself and sing it just <laughs> like my dad. <laughs> and uh, it came out very well. It's doing very well across the country. Oh, well, it's going to probably be at everyone's musical library come Christmas time. You know, I, I, Marshall, I'm sitting there looking at you, and I'm like, you're almost 80 years old, and you're still going as strong as the day you started. What's your secret? Well, you know, first of all, I never drank, smoke, or anything like that, number one. And uh, I was just, uh, I was blessed, put it like that. I was blessed to be able to have my, my excitement. My whole family is musically inclined. And coming up out of Dusab High School, Captain Walter Dodd mm -hmm. taught me all so uh, after that, wow, you know, I just kept on going, kept on going. All right, you got a concert coming up uh, later on, and you're actually going to be playing with Snoop Dogg. You know, I, I don't <laughs> know if we put the Shy Lights and the Snoop Dogg in the same, you know, <laughs> in the well, we same, got, yeah. We got Al Green, too. Okay. 50 Cent. 50 cent. Okay. Uh, we got the Ajay Brothers. You know, we got a great concert. That does sound it's like a great concert. It sold out, 30,000 people. Why do you think the music endures? Well, uh, I would say that it's, it comes from the, the real lyrics of the songs, and our songs are pop. We sing pop and R&B. We never sung just straight R&B. Okay. So that's why we reached the Hollywood Walk of Fame, you know, having the number one record in the country, Old Girl. That was the biggest song we ever had. Okay, Have You Seen It was the number one R&B song uh, that we ever had. But uh, having those type of songs, I didn't like the pop songs at first. <laughs> no. I like R&B, like you know, rhythm and blues, rhythm and blues. Until we got on the Flip Wilson show, we did the Flip Wilson show, and uh, we did Old Girl, Carl Davis showed us to take Old Girl with us to the Flip Wilson show. And we went to the Flip Wilson show, next thing we know, a month and a half later, Old Girl came on the charts at number one. Oh, wow. And, and I think people are still sampling you all songs to this day, right? Yes, it is. The biggest one sample is Beyonce, Crazy in Love. And you got a Grammy for that, right? Yes, we got. Well, she gave us one of her Grammys. She got six Grammys for it. <laughs> she got. had enough, so she just shared one with you, huh? 
Yeah, I give him a Grammy. All right. I like it. I like it. Well, Marshall, it's so good to talk to you. I'm so happy that you finally got that, that star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Thank you so much. All right. I appreciate it. Well, thank you. All right.